Good evening, everybody. It's Zachariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my running to a very fallen police officer, firefighter, and U.S. Border Patrol member who is your life in the line of duty in 2021. And sadly, tonight I'm running for another fallen firefighter who have lost his life in the line of duty. Tonight I'm running for fallen firefighter Casey Callwood. He worked with the U.S. Virgin Islands Fire Services, and his last alarm was November 22nd, 2021 and lost his life after the apparatus they were in was involved in a single vehicle crash after, a return, after returning from a training exercise. He was 31 years old at the time of his passing and was a part of the firefighter uh, training program in 2019 where he graduated and he leaves behind a loving family. Tonight I'll be running with the red line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track loop of my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. I'll be joined tonight by two Simla County Sheriff's Office cruisers who are going to be patrolling with us during the run. We're also joined by my sister who's going to be running with us during the run as well as, well as my whole entire family here tonight. Even though it seems like there's just me and my sister running, at the same time there's even more running and that's all the fall night I ran for. I know they're all running in spirit tonight including fallen firefighter Casey Colwood. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and apartment through hearts of Mary going through and then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuned in tonight, tonight's Zachariah running his second mile of the evening, this mile in honor of a fallen hero from the U.S. Virgin Islands, fallen firefighter Casey Colwood. Tragically, he lost his life November the 22nd, 2021, after he was a passenger in an apparatus that was returning back from a training exercise that tragically lost control. And in the process, firefighter Casey Colwood lost his life. 31 years old, he had graduated from the training academy back in 2019, he leaves behind a loving family. Zachariah now completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile to honor firefighter Casey Colwood here tonight. We always appreciate every local agency that continually comes out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zachariah tonight. Helping to honor fallen firefighter Casey Callwood, we have members of our home county agency, Seminole County Sheriff's Office. Once again, we're here today to pay tribute to a fallen 31-year-old hero from the U.S. Virgin Islands, fallen firefighter Casey Callwood, who tragically lost his life after the apparatus that he was in was involved in a single vehicle accident returning from a training. Sadly, it only served just two years with this agency, having graduated from the training academy in the U.S. Virgin Islands Fire Services back in 2019, and he leaves behind a loving family. Zechariah now completing his second lap, carrying that red line flag, in honor of this hero, fallen firefighter Casey Colwin. Zechariah completes, he carries a unique flag. Each flag he carries gets sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. This flag will work its way to our friends with U.S. Virgin Islands and will be delivered to the family of fallen firefighter Casey Callwood, thanks to people like you who continue to stand with this mission. If you'd like to be a part of Running for Heroes, please visit runningthenumber4heroes.org. We'll also do a follow-up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you can also be a part of this mission. As Zechariah completes his third lap, and starts his fourth lap. I'm gonna go silent and I'm gonna remain silent for the remainder of the run as we reflect on the life of this hero. 31 year old firefighter, Casey Colwood of the US Virgin Islands Firefighter Services. We extend our thoughts and prayers to the entire Colwood family as well as everybody mourning the loss from the US Virgin Islands. We know that they lost a hero and we hope this run honors him 
as a hero. May we never forget firefighter Casey Colwood. So for any final words for the family of fallen firefighter, Casey Callwood. To the whole family of fallen firefighter, Casey Callwood. Everybody with the 
U.S. Virgin Islands Fire Services and his whole entire family. We hope you all heal very soon through the passing of your loved one. Um, as all of you know, whenever an officer or firefighter loses their life in the line of duty in U.S. territories, we will do a run for them. Um, and sadly, US, the U.S. Virgin Islands has lost a true hero in the past few weeks. Firefighter Col Colwood um, was, he graduated from the fire school um, in 2019. And since then, he's been dedicating his time and effort toward his community. Um, you know, having to be a firefighter and making sure everybody's safe on the whole entire island is definitely something that's uh, beyond difficult. But I know people like Firefighter Callwood were the people that took that challenge and dedicated their life towards being a firefighter and helped save more lives in the process. If you are part of the family of Firefighter Callwood, we'll be sending you a short line flag that we remember tonight in your hero's honor very soon, as well as a handwritten note that I've already written and it's ready to be sent out to the U.S. Virgin Islands as quick as possible. With the help of all of us tonight, we hope that this run can help you heal. And there's no preference on what we want you to do with the flag that when we give it, when, when you receive it, but whatever you do with it, we, we, we hope you find comfort every single time you look at it, knowing that there's people supporting you in the continental United States and all throughout the nation as well. If all of you would now like to join me, first of all, in a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute, each second day, Katie, one amazing thing firefighter Casey Callwood did during his life, including as a firefighter with his community, maybe a life he saved or an accomplishment he made during his life as well. If all of you please now bow our heads in this 21 second moment of silence, help the family and department heal, please join us right now. We appreciate you joining us in 21 seconds, like I said. It doesn't mean so much to the whole family if you join us and bow your heads to honor this fallen firefighter here tonight. Now, of all of you now, like, join me in a prayer for the two fallen firefighters we had to run for on this Saturday evening. Dear God, today we've had to come out here for two young first responders, both serving um, not a lot of time, and both were still very young and in their um, process. And God, even though they lost their life way too young, and could have saved more lives in the future. God, thank you for bringing them on this earth to help save innocent lives. And I know they're still up in heaven protecting um, up there as well. God, bring the family and department to this run tonight. Use, use this run as a tool to help anybody going through a hard time heal through these unexpected losses. And if there's, and make sure they know that if there's anything that they need, feel free to contact Running Beat Heroes and we can help them out. God, thank you for keeping me safe through another mile and two, another two miles here tonight. But let's hope that in, in the next few days we don't have any more that we have to run for um, if there's a need. Thank you again, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us in these two runs tonight. Um, back to back, uh, we have been running for two firefighters um, yesterday and today. Sadly, um, firefighters have had quite a few uh, tough few weeks. So say prayers. Um, say prayers for all of them. And I believe we still have two more firefighters um, to run for. So say your prayers for the firefighter community. Um, and let's hope that all first responders have a, a good weekend. So if you are a first responder tonight, uh, working tonight, we hope you all stay safe and we appreciate your service. And we hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday evening. And we pray God blesses you all.